chat. There we go. Awesome. Good morning, everyone. This is Chicho. We are on July 13th, 2019. And we're doing a live stream, open discussion on current events, news, politics, economics, whatever it might be. Usually it's politics, economics centric. So Rua, how are you doing? Good morning or good afternoon or good evening. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Interesting news cycles. We are in the midst of this exponential chaos from the from the sounds of it. Lots of fronts economically, politically, geopolitically, environmentally. Uh, on every front. Spider, how are you doing? How's life? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Fun. I shot a video this morning. Harvesting some black current. I'll try to get it edited today and upload it tomorrow most likely. I'm gonna list some more comics today. I took some pictures this morning. So I'm starting the whole process of loading stuff on eBay. Long time no see, Saint just Germany. Well, it's been a week. <laughs> Internet time is a long time. Internet time is a long time. I was uh, planning to do a live stream earlier, but I got caught up on things and doing things and getting things in order and stuff. Lord, how are you doing? How's life? Nice to see you nice to see you yeah but last week i wasn't here oh you weren't here last week jeremy we had a good time yes last week we had a good time it was uh i forget what we did we did current events and we talked about different things we did the patio last week i showed you guys plants oh you missed the plant collection we uh, we went through the patio during the whole uh since that video being shot potted everything and whatnot Welcome Chicho, Chicho Alex to Chicho Mania, <laughs> cruel joke, I think it's like three or four weeks, three or four weeks, oh no, oh no, we got, uh, we got three streams set up for this week, I love your comic book video you just posted, I watched it at work, nice spider, glad you liked, glad you liked that getting the ball rolling on that oof, took me a little bit of time man. i had to go through there's a whole bunch of prep i needed to do before i could actually you know go through the whole thing it took me a while to set up the account for selling on ebay because the ebay's now i understand why a lot of people are using global's ebay shipping program because they've made uh fine-tuned how you enter everything on ebay because i've the first time I listed on eBay was 2002, right? And I've gone through the process of doing it a few times over the last, what are we in, 17 years, right? And last time I did this was a few years ago, but they fine tuned the process. They allow you to add more pictures. They've given you a whole bunch of free ones you can do per month or something. However, when it comes to the shipping, they've made it harder. When I was loading on the four comics that I put on eBay, the Gogo -Go Boy comics, right? I would do a preview and it would show the shipping stuff the way I liked it. And then when I would list it, it would change it, right? So I went through multiple iterations and I tried loading it from .ca, tried loading it from .com, from the US account. And each one had a little glitch in the shipping, right? That's, I think, the reason why in the last like four years or so, three years or so, people have been using eBay's global shipping program because they probably find it easier. And I think that's by design because eBay makes money off that and there's a secondary company making money off that, right? So it's bad for the consumer, for people buying and selling retailer, but it's good for eBay and the people handling the shipping. Scammers, scammers, scammers. I'll try to, uh, just for those of you guys interested in the comic book stuff, uh, what I'm doing, I'm gonna try my best to make sure uh, I don't make any mistakes along the way, listing things and, you know, all the text I have in the descriptions and stuff. Try on there, and it's gonna change up a 
it's gonna go through a few iter iterations because I before I finalize it, but call this a draft version, I guess. Okay, finally made another one. Nice, Lord. You were here last week, I think, Lord, weren't you? I think we you were at least one stream. You were busy with your sword, either last set of streams or the previous one. What do you see? Uh, what do you use to catalog your books? You I don't catalog my books. I use my brain, <laughs> which isn't very accurate, right? So I use my memory to categorize, to remember if I have something or if I have an additional copy of something and stuff. My books are chaos, okay? I buy, I put in boxes. Once the box is full, <laughs> I put it away, right? And when I go through these types of iterations, when I'm pulling comics out, so I went through, I don't know how many boxes, 30 boxes, let's say, right? So I pulled out four short boxes, which be, which would be two boxes. So there was gaps in some of the, you know, a little bit of space in those long boxes, right? So what I did was go through the comics that I bought last year, which are closer, closer to me, right? Easier access, and there are short boxes and stuff. So I grabbed stacks and put them in. So I did a shuffle. <laughs> so it's even more chaotic. But I pulled out four boxes that I got an you know that we took a look at, and I got an idea of what's there again. So it's repetition again into memory of me looking at covers and figuring out what I have or trying to memorize what I have, remember what I have. So I went through one more iteration of those 30 boxes. There's more boxes to look through, but we're gonna hold off on that, right? I use the chaos system <laughs> for categorizing my books. Hello, Chicho, hope you're uh, uh, arcing aside. How are you doing? Hope you're a day as well. I'm a little hungover from karaoke last night oh you guys that singing did you guys have a booth get together eat drink and sing karaoke last night but nothing a little Mary Jane won't fix spider yes the shipping is pretty complicated on eBay crazy complicated ridiculous they should have a little area where it says this is how much I'm going to charge for shipping here 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 simple ridiculously simple because they try to automate everything right and scrape a little off take a little off take a little off right take their cut take their cut they try to automate everything the automation has hiccups like literally i should do take pictures of it when i press preview it shows it the way i want it and then when i go list it it doesn't do it right this is something different right? is it by design or is it bad programming I was just about to stick on a movie and then I see a Chicho stream, a <laughs> Chicho and Giant Nicholas. Uh, what do you call it? Nicholas movies, uh, what do you call it? Uh, more passive so you can chill more. By the way, movies, I, I watched Bone Tomahawk. I don't know if you guys like any Western movies, right? I know Nicholas, you said you like war stuff. Western movies and Western movies are an amazing genre. Western is an amazing genre. There are some absolutely brilliant Westerns that have been put out. And there are a lot of horrendous Westerns that have been put out. So it's one of those genres which is very difficult to make classic movies, brilliant movies, raw movies, just to capture the Western feel, right? Bone Tomahawk is one of those fantastic movies. Chicho rating, nine out of 10, okay. Nine and a half out of 10, great movie, great Western. It's almost got a B feel to it. Hello Chicho, how are you doing? Doing good Starsky, how are you doing? I have summer vacation at last. I'm gonna start studying history and political science next year, nice Lord. Awesome, that's, wow, what a time to go be, to be going through that to be in the education system, learning about history and political science. While all these revelations are coming out and we're learning a lot more about our history and some of the things that transpired and the internet flow of information, amazing period. I need to start a level maths 
What's a level math? What's a level math, Starsky? Hello, Chicho from Turkey. Hello, hello, Pumpkin. How are you doing? Pumpkin eyes. Doing well, Pumpkin eyes. I forget how to say hello in Turkish. Uh, but I know some of the other words. Chakoc, <laughs> shishbish, ikibiri. And of course, I've listened to many hours of Rashid Bebuto, as you know. Right? I over a good Western. Doop. Oops. Oh, I gotta do this. There we go. Can't beat the old spaghetti westerns. Yeah, spaghetti westerns, the Italian westerns with Clint Eastwood and stuff. And amazing, eh? Clint Eastwood couldn't get a job in Hollywood shooting a western, right? And Italy. Italian Western spaghetti Western is what gave Clint Eastwood his fame right? amazing Italian Western spaghetti Western are fantastic I used to work at a comic book store and customers would come in looking for retail on their books and it just doesn't work that way no I recently started to sell on eBay and I'm shocked how much eBay charges you in fees it's the point where it's like is it even worth posting some things yeah spider i'm expecting to encounter that as well but what uh the way i'm dealing with it i'm going to be po posting some stuff that's higher end and some stuff that's lower end that way if there are real collectors out there that want to get to books like for me right the way i buy is if i'm looking for a high-end book i'm also picking up low-end books that i really want that incorporate the shipping costs to distribute the shipping costs we've done this stuff in our comic book haul videos where we're doing the table and i do per unit right so i'm going to try to find a good balance of per unit return on the comic books that i'm going to be selling just the same way we've been calculating per unit buys that i've been having right so i'm giving you a little background of what i'm going towards in regards to asmr math and the personal finance stuff we're going to look at right so if you look at the video that we put out with the comic books i'm going to be listing on ebay i'm either going to package them or sell them individually or whatever it is right i still have to fine tune it i don't know what the fees are and how it's going to work out and everything right that's part of the business process so what we're doing with the comic books in regards to asmr math how we're going to link it up i'm going to do this in real time and try to give people a feel of what type of calculations they have to do to be able to do a business manage their finances invest right so that's the way i'm going to approach it it's an experiment right to a certain degree um, and i want to do it in real time and look at the data i think it'd be fun and fine-tune it from my end as well right great lasagna how are you doing hello chicho how's life doing well pick some uh, black currants today from our patio we had a black currant bush intrepid good afternoon to you my brother by the way uh you were doing something uh you were going for training or no you were doing lots of runs you were you were doing something last stream you mentioned spider listing fees uh, then you can pay extra to increase the chances of your product selling then the payment processing fee just so many fees yeah like for me i'm not paying any extras for any ebay listings i'm doing it just free right i'm doing it free and i'm going to take my time and just do it over an extended period of time paypal is going to take a cut ebay is going to take a cut right shipping is going to take a cut because the shipping is going to cost most likely more than what i've listed there if it's taking too much of a cut, I'm going to increase my shipping fees and stuff. So that's where the adjustment is going to come in. I put some chart in Discord about Green Party being popular in Germany. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard they're, uh, they're gained a fair bit of ground. Yeah, but, uh, uh, Lord, yeah, but I'll have to move to Brussels, and I really don't like the city. It's like Trump once called it a hellhole, probably the only thing of trump i agree with really brussels is a hellhole really i didn't know that what's your preferred way to consume cannabis uh, my father recently gave me a vape yeah and i 
don't think I'll ever use my buying it. Yeah, Arkansas vape. I would never, I never thought a few years ago that I would stop puffing, right? But so be it. Save the lungs, save the lungs, right? And clean and saves you money and environmentally friendly. Well, then, reason, I guess. That's pushing a little bit too far, right? <laughs> but it's, yeah, highly recommend. Ariser Solo Mind. Fantastic. Void Hook. Holy, do I crave, crave on, crave on new streams now. Your streams now, I'm assuming. <laughs> Here's, I gotta read the thing with you. Nice, Void. I'm glad you like it, though. X, how are you doing? Tink, tink. Oh, hey, Chicho. Not been able to catch you recently as I've been away in Scotland. How you been? Doing good, Tink. Doing good. I'm kicking it into. I'm like, got a little bit of uh, fire in me right now. So I've been doing a fair bit of stuff. Just going through the comics and listing things. Took me like three hours to go eBay stuff. And just once I get the ball rolling, I just go. So I've already done a fair bit of things this morning. It's 10 a.m. I got up at like 5.30 and started doing things. A level map, advanced level, advanced level. That's what it is, A level map. Oh, A level map. I read A as a A, not a capital A. A level map, advanced level. It's the level of math to get into university for specific subjects like economics or engineering, British. Okay, cool. Cool, Starsky. If you need help, Starsky, uh, let us know i don't plan on doing any math streams during the summer but once we start in september but if you do need help during the summer let us know we'll schedule on a math live stream i still have some students that i'm working with during the summer so i'll be happy to do a math live stream before the school year starts oh yeah you must be talking about the training i've been doing for the yeah that's right uh, just had some this morning nice you were going some serious runs do you ever hear anything about cartels in Mexico yeah they're yeah for sure I don't know the specific names and stuff this is no <laughs> not not a big glass of liqueur morning tea morning tea delicious I already had a bowl of uh, cereal with yogurt and uh, mulberries uh, figs and I put in some uh, of the black currants that I picked this morning that I shot a video of. The video most likely will be up tomorrow on BitChute on YouTube. And then this video will be up most likely the day after or whatever. It's gonna be a little lag from the time we stream to the time we upload, right? No, not the cure. <laughs> Make less <laughs> that way. Chicho serious business. I'll, I'll celebrate with you guys when we get some amazing news of certain things we're tracking right when we when julian assange gets freed right we'll have a 24 hour or 12 hour stream i'll last 12 hours i'm pretty sure we'll have a celebration stream for sure okay which you never use most likely starsky opinion on the storming of area 51 the 20th september is it true i don't i it hasn't crossed my radar void um, on the on the main go right and I'm keeping a pretty nice track of news coming in right now so I haven't heard anything about storming of area 51 uh, it might just be a stone thrown thrown upon that the ripples haven't come to me yet well I haven't I haven't felt the ripples yet right but thanks for pointing it out I'll keep an eye out on it or for it I am from Belgium but I'm from the Dutch speaking side and Brussels is mainly French oh Lord so it's uh, the difference between the Dutch and French speaking side of uh, Belgium okay there's nothing there at area 51 anymore yeah they better area 51 supposed to belong to the people not the government Chicho wasn't your preferred summer food What's your preferred summer food? Ooh, 
I, I eat a lot of fruits in the summer, spider. A lot of fruits. Uh, fruits, berries, herbs. Um, and I'm pretty sure we're going to get a barbecue this summer. I'm barbecuing. <laughs> to, get back, uh, to get background on what Void said, there's a Facebook page online for people to storm Area 51. Stupid, I know, but it's gotten a lot of popularity. Uh, see, here's the thing. Um, uh, here's the thing, Tink, and uh, Void. Uh, I don't get my news from Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> like Facebook is pure just shite, right? Uh, so anything on Facebook I consider to be noise and garbage on this level. So unless it starts hitting some of my main sources of trusted forums, news sites, and people, then I'm not really going to pay it any attention. And I definitely would not be doing a follow or join on a page on Facebook to add your name to a government CIA database to say that you were willing to storm Area 51. <laughs> that would be silly, right? So don't do that. And if you have, uh, unfollow. Get out of there. Get out of there. You don't know how dark it might go. You don't want your name in that database especially in that list especially if you're using first of all you shouldn't be using your real name as I don't think anybody is here right a math stream would be nice maybe about into oh brother Starsky I'm not doing calculus uh, really I I have to for me I, I want to make sure I'm comfortable with what I'm saying on video I don't want to take other people's words and regurgitate it, which I could, right? On a superficial level, remind myself uh, how to do calculus, calc uh, integration and taking derivatives and stuff like this, right? But I don't want to do it on that level. I want to, once, once I delve back into calculus and relearn it well enough, where I'm using my own phrases, my own words, that I understand what I'm saying and where it leads to, even though I might be uh, sort of telling it in a more generalistic way that doesn't cover all the special cases, uh, but I want to be in that state to be able to do calculus. Is the song supposed to be released anytime soon? I doubt it, Intrepid. I doubt it. If he is, man, we will definitely celebrate. Okay. Uh, I doubt it. Like yesterday, Twitter deleted one of the main, the main uh, Twitter feed I was following for Assange, which was Unity for the number 4J, right? They were doing live streams every Friday for a number of months, over a year, I think right every Friday where they talk about the news and stuff like this and they've been putting on a lot of videos consortium news was part of that so was uh, Dawson I forget the names and stuff like this and they just started a brand new live stream on a I don't know how, how regular they're gonna do it they just started two days ago they did their first or yesterday they did their first live stream uh, on their channel consortium news sharing information and stuff but Twitter just deleted the main Twitter feed I was following to free Assange, right? For Assange information. Twitter is on the, is a nasty place, right? I'm still posting there, but it's censored. Hardcore, hardcore, hardcore. It, they're, they're cutting their own throat, right? Because people are going to migrate to other forums. The people who are still getting their news on Facebook, they're they'll only stay on Facebook or Twitter, right? They're going to be, they're going to get caught up in any political, economic turmoil that comes again, when it comes again, right? Just like the 2008 scam, right? Everybody that was following the mainstream garbage sources of information, right? Which was only consuming news that was censored, right? 
those people lost a lot of them lost their life savings they went bankrupt right those people who were following trusted source of information right and went to uncensored platforms knew what was coming right so be warned if you're only getting your news from Facebook or Twitter you are you are misinformed uninformed regarding certain topics and uh, some stuff you're not even going to be you're not even going to know about right never said used integration once since i was taught it and i work in pretty number intensive field yeah pure either of i i did i did at the beginning in lab experiments in field projects from school but when i went into the field we had programs that did that right did the calculations and stuff in but i wasn't in uh, specifically in the field of mathematics i was in the field of geophysics right i thought area 51 lab was just a meme uh are some people actually serious some people on facebook maybe would you agree that mexico is basically a failed state because the cartels are the police and the government um is mexico a failed state no mexico is under siege right mexico is being influenced by outside forces in a big way is under siege externally and internally right uh, and there's guerrilla conflicts going on uh, cut out the outside influence a lot of pressure will be lifted off of Mexico's problems right but there's a lot of geopolitics taking place right now from the western world and latin america which is creating a lot of chaos uh, so i wouldn't say it's a failed state uh, people are online people people are online serious people are online serious <laughs> yeah yeah there's a lot of violence beef and even racism between flanders dutch speaking oh wow crazy i didn't know that lord Belgium, eh? Europe, Europe. I know, but I need it. I get into economics. Yeah, you need the you need the math. You need the calculus to go into any field regarding sciences or economics or business or. And it's good for the brain. It it's it's good to know what what you're capable of doing if you really want to do it. The current education is stupid. Yep. <laughs> Pure says. It doesn't matter though for something they won't make it as far as the actual base at grown life but for the other thing even if the miraculously did if they miraculously did they wouldn't find anything since the government moved everything out of area from years ago or they might get huge doses of radiation right? arkin aside facebook recently made it okay to say actual death threats to people they consider dangerous really completely illegal and immoral everyone leave facebook and go to mines yeah yeah i have a presence on mines on chicho presence on mines and gap and twitter right uh facebook i have a math in real life facebook page and a 420 math facebook page that i haven't updated for a few years now that have like over a thousand followers and stuff which is okay maybe at some point i will but facebook is not for people facebook is for uh if you want to share information facebook is for corporations to share their what they're doing right it's not for people to communicate if you know of a corporation that posts regularly on facebook and if you like their product you can follow them but if you want to have an open dialogue discourse on facebook no not at all well great lasagna is using his legal first <laughs> i would like to know a great lasagna in person oh my god i'm way behind on chat the 
predatory. How are you doing? Guys, I'm going to skip down. Oh, here's one. Uh, did you hear about Merkel's da, 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 choo -choo, climbing the storm? Yeah. So, gang, I'm going to roll down, scroll down a little bit to catch up with uh, the chat. Uh, if you have anything directed towards me, if you put at Chicho Live, I'll scroll and try to read it. And then once I get to caught up to chat, I'll try to go a little faster and keep my dialogue shorter. Right? Did you hear about the Merkel troubles at different occasions? Yeah. Also, Wonder Lin might become new EU commissioner. I've heard. In Wonder Lin, is that the lady that was ahead of the IMF? They're all the same people, so I don't know. Yeah. As far as Merkel, yeah, I've heard about it. Uh, I don't wish, wish ill on anyone. Obviously, she's sick. Right? Obviously, she's sick. So, to me, uh, you know, we talked about it, I think, the first time it happened. And it's happened a few times now. So, obviously, there's something neurological or muscular happening to her. Um, so, you know, I hope it's not too hard on her. Uh, as far as her goals, uh, she's horrendous. <laughs> uh, it's her policies that uh, matter, what the EU is doing, what Germany is doing, not her health. Uh, no idea, all EU is corrupt. Da, 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 da. I have to leave for a birthday. Oh, Intrepid, you got to leave for a birthday celebration. That's good, though. Happy birthday to whoever you're going to go see. But looking forward to the next stream, my friend. Have a fantastic day. You too, Intrepid. Eat lots of cake. <laughs> I'm going to scroll down again. Uh, I'm going to read from the bottom up a little bit. Oka Okwan, how are you doing? Welcome to another live stream. I suppose we'll have to disagree that people are talking. I do not agree. EU is crappy. Yep, the EU is pure communism. The EU is pure elitism. Um, it's oligarchy fascism some would say corporatism there's some things which are whoop, let's see there's something which which we the people cannot realistically manage i think there are a few examples but one would definitely be the matter of aliens relations diplomacy with aliens and possibly any alien craft in ownership i don't know maybe people would put our ridiculous personal differences aside the color skin the eyes eye color language religion put all that crap aside and unite and go wow we were all wrong let's try to figure out what's going on between us and the lizards <laughs> maybe <laughs> if not owned by the people then who the government uh, letting a tyrant own it is a bad idea so that, that, that. I'm just bone tomahawk. Fair warning, though. It's pretty. Oh yeah, uh, I'm so glad I scrolled up. Warning, Sorura. Thank you for the warning. Bone tomahawk. Fair warning. Though it's pretty brutal, even though it's it's a good movie. Very brutal. There are scenes in there which are not for the faint of heart. Okay. And I think that's what the West would have been like. Okay, I think that's what the West would have been like, not for the faint of heart. Okay, especially the the frontier, right? Chicho, by the way, if you still think skin color doesn't matter, I have a great pay paper you need to see, released by the federal government. Is that the <laughs> the incarceration stats, pure? For human beings, the way we interact with each other, it should be your integrity that matters, right? But the government, I'm pretty sure that's what you're referring to here. And all you have to do is take a look at the stats regarding incarceration and police and who gets thrown in jail, right? The foolish, those who are believe in centralization power, takes those statistics and say, see, This race, this race, this race, uh, these people commit most of the crimes, that's why they're in jail. The people who look at policy would say, hey, wait a second, 
the police, the government, arrests more of this people, this people, this people, and they police their regions. And then you look at the economics and go, wait a second, there's forced centralized impoverished, impo in, uh, impoverished in, uh, poverty, right? Brought around to certain communities. There's so much going on, right? Is it fair to play in the pl uh, plight of the underdeveloped countries on developed countries? Uh, Kel Kelden Storm, I would also say it's not just underdeveloped countries uh, migrating to developed countries. It's also outside forces, outside countries, developed countries, destroying the developed countries or sending their corporations and buying off the government and installing dictators and looting the resources so it's not just migration of people from developed countries into uh, from undeveloped countries and developed countries it's what developed countries are doing to countries who are either trying to develop or had uh, amazing economy social structure until the western countries came in and destroyed it it's called blowback i mean look at what they did in iran in 1953 overthrowing mossadak and putting a shah into power what's happening with the turmoil between the united states and iran and united states uk and iran right now is directly a result of what happened in 1953 right there's so much there foreign policy western foreign policy is what matters fix that you fixed a huge chunk of the world's problems murder s stats split up by race they're a bit too different to be explained by anything other than evolution um no i don't i'm pure i disagree there's economics there it's not evolution it's economics don't people there because of evolution there's differences between us human beings we're all different right and the differences can be broken down into this group that group this group that group look at belgium the french speaking and german speaking are at odds with each other right from what lord tells us okay however forget about that aspect of it because that's not what we're seeing right now on the forefront what we're seeing right now is the economics of it right pure economics of it that's what has taken place what we're seeing right now is the end results of brutal economic uh, policy globally that has been taking place for a number of decades if not a number of centuries right it didn't it doesn't have to be this way once we take care of the economics aspect of it then if you want we'll talk about the differences that we have and maybe start working with each other because we're all better at certain things than other things a friend of mine used to say always right he's no longer with us rest in peace stop smoking if you're smoking people right but a friend of mine used to say chicho two heads are always better than one there's always always something that someone else will know that you will not know no matter how smart you think you are and how dumb you think the other person is right there's more information for us to be had collectively than there is individually if we can harness that power and not submit to propaganda and programming and intolerance and basically to centralize power that is trying to bring divide between us then man that's the new age we want to go into that's where we want to be globally right what we could do just imagine just imagine right that's a spicy take all of russia wants to move to another country 
disagreed. They don't allow it to develop. Small businesses are drowning. A good example, WhatsApp. How the state felt money from the company immediately made the tax pay. Then they came to the US and now uh, they pay millions. This also applies to Russia, Belarus, Ukraine. Uh, 1992, naked? I disagree. You can right now go to DuckDuckGo and pull up a map of where there's positive flow of migration. Russia is one of them. There's people now going towards Russia. Okay. And what Russia, what any country does that has gone through serious turmoil, uh, you have to take that into context. Also look at the last few decades of where it's come from, right? Is it on the rise or is it on the downturn? Relative to the 1990s, Russia is going like this man. Relative to the 1990s, Canada and the United States are going like this. Same with Europe, are going like this. So you have to take that into consideration. You have to look at things in a in a in regards to how it's unfolded through time. And that's where mathematics comes in. That's calculus, right? Once you look at the calculus of a situation, of a system then you see it for what it is don't take one point in time and try to understand that one point if you're going to exist longer than that one single instant of life right oh i missed a lot of text again <laughs> how many people do we have here lively conversations i'm gonna scroll down a little bit more okay but jumping to evolution is the reason is a radical take in my opinion um there is evolutionary um uh, there is there, i hope i'm pronouncing your name right there is evolutionary stuff not to my knowledge if they had two percent but have one percent before that looks good i missed all that talk so i'm gonna skip those it's not an extraordinary claim though you can also see a poll in chicho's discord about greens gaining power oh yes uh, greens uh, the difference is unbridgeable you can only explain it by evolution uh, oh you can't provide a link uh, page 24 uh, pure yeah you will have to post that on discord just to let you know um, okay guys we're second place Ch -ch -ch -ch. I heard Russia, unfortunately, is very isolated in the scientific community because Russia doesn't want to cooperate with foreign states. Uh, Germany, I disagree. Uh, from what I know, Russians in the scientific community, in the mathematics, uh, mathematicians in, the, uh, in Russia, like to communicate, like to share information. And a lot of them, a lot of that is done. It's not economic gain to them right they're doing it for the love of it right just as a lot of people are in Canada the United States and stuff like this but what Russia is under right now is sanctions right you also have to take, have to take into consideration Western sanctions and what's happening there right so we're not talking about free open trade of flow of information and stuff like this there's censorship taking place we don't know how that's playing out in the scientific community there's a whole lot of things that could explain it not only evolution yeah and when the people fell from the tree Newton was clearly wrong there's no such thing as gravity only <laughs> so ghosts can explain gravity right that's a false equation there's a discussion going on regarding evolution and race and stuff which is okay I'll keep an eye on it no that's a true equivalence okay. i got to leave to meet a friend have a nice day everyone great day to you as well great lasagna and according to some person that said it great is your first name lasagna your last name <laughs> i would like to meet a great lasagna in person All right nice to meet you though nice to know you as well discussions about complex scientific economy issues compare it to ghosts 
greater than true equivalence. I disagree. Chicho, my former Russian co-worker daughter, is a scientist in plasma physics. She told me Russia doesn't does its own thing regarding scientific research. Uh, Germany, for sure, every country does their own thing. But I think theory-wise and stuff like this, they share a lot of information. Anything that's related to military, for sure they wouldn't because Russia uh, has certain technology, which is a few generations above what Western powers have, right? As well as Western powers or different countries have technology re relating certain advancements that Russia is behind, right? So science is a tricky thing. But in terms of theories, mathematic theories and stuff like this, that stuff is shared fairly freely. But tech, every, every country is protecting its tech. Look at the United States. Man, they're getting, forcing strong army countries to sign treaties with them that empower U.S. corporations to hold more patent copyright laws in other countries, right? extending them. It is indeed my actual name, Lasagna of the Great, first of his name. <laughs> Typical suicide by deflection. It's a very complicated issue, guys. Very complicated, too complicated. I will never mention how it's complicated. Just that it's very complicated because complexity is a useful word to bring up when you know somebody is correct about something. Uh, pure 105, here's the thing. Let's say we have a dam, right? And there's a gigantic hole, right? Where there's tons of water coming through. And there's a little hole over here, there's a little hole coming through. Which one is gonna to be to blame for the dam breaking? This gigantic hole is, right? This one you could just say, you know, I'll patch it up for now, we'll deal with it later. Let me deal with the gigantic hole. Our political, economic uh, policies, both domestically and in regards to foreign policy, are to blame, are responsible for much of the misery in the world. Evolution is a no-go. It doesn't even hit the radar in terms of what we have to deal with. Okay, if you don't take into consideration the politics and the economics of it, you don't put a band aid when you got it on yourself, when you've got a gash from here all the way down with your entrails hanging out and say, Oh, the band aid will take care of it. No, man, you need serious, serious surgery. <laughs> Not valid. Wait, what? Russian military is a joke. Their nuclear subs are rotting away uh, Bixie who needs multi-billion hundred billion dollar subs when you got missiles that can travel at mock whatever that no system can protect itself against that is two generations above minimum two generations above anything anybody else has the S500, the S600 coming up. Man, and they got, Russia's got some stuff regarding EM, electromagnetic uh, weapons and stuff like this. Not that I'm, I agree with all these weapons, but you can't just dismiss all of the military of a certain country. There's a reason, reason why Russia sells a lot of arms in the world. Nothing compared to the United States, obviously. But there's a reason why NATO allies are trying to get their hands on the Russian missile systems. Look at Turkey, look at Saudi Arabia, look at, uh, well, Saudi Arabia is not part, part of NATO, but Turkey's part of NATO. Look at Saudi Arabia, look at India, look at, look at all these nations, right? Also, you to go what? Da, da, da. I agree, Russia's military capabilities suck, but even if a few nukes work, it's still a problem, big problem, right? And by the way, regarding Russia, Russian technology, here's the thing. This is one thing that blew me away, right? 
Back in the 1960s and 70s, Western mathematicians and physicists and stuff, physicists really, came up with formulas and their theories saying that there's no way you could make planes be more than a certain size, right? Meanwhile, during the 1970s and 80s, there were satellite images over the Caspian Ocean where there was a blip going across the Caspian. Gigantic, huge, right? Later on, it was discovered that that was a plane that Russian engineers had made, okay, that Western physicists, mechanical engineers have proven by mathematics that could never be built. The Russians built it, right? So all of these things in the Western world that we think certain countries are doing are not capable of doing whatever it is take all of that with a grain of salt a lot of that is bs right the migs used to be and i believe right now they're some of the best fighter jets in the world i know the migs when they first came out they were flying loops around american fighter planes right and american fighter planes were weighed down with serious technology the planes were heavy they were like gigantic ships with all these buttons and stuff like this right there there was a sort of a bounty out for people to get their hands on a mig so the americans or western governments could take a look at what was inside the mig i think canadian government helped out the united states to get their hands on a mig and it was bare bones when they looked inside of it it was like a bloody stick with very few gadgets around it. That's why it was so light. It could loop the loops around anything the Western powers had, right? So Russian scientists, engineers have made things that Western scientists had mathematically proven that couldn't be made, right? And it wasn't mathematics, it was their assumptions, right? Who are the better scientists? Who has the better technology? or can use the tech they have to their full abilities right. hi chicho jenna tos kala hello 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 welcome to a political open discussion current events live streams I saw something out there about france getting the global tech companies to pay tax fairly based on where they earn profits sounded very interesting though mr trump was quite unhappy with it what's your thoughts yeah i think um i personally like corporations are using tax havens and loopholes in the tax system that they hire accountants for to find loopholes that they can not pay any taxes right we need a serious revamping of every country's tax system the first thing that needs to be done is take all those tax laws take all those books right take them to a bonfire and burn them all right because they were put into place by corporations so they could have loopholes to go through where citizens regular people like me and you could not go through right so the tax burden was put on the middle class so for sure, things have to change. How are they going to change the first order of business, I would say, is burn all the tax laws, right? Repeal all the laws, take them off the books, right? Put everyone on the same level. If corporations are supposed to be people, if governments, if you live in a country that you think government, centralized power, should be allowed to tax citizens, should be able to tax people, then what they should do is, eliminate all the tax laws and bring in one law right if you're a person a citizen of a country right a person like corporations are considered to be people in the united states right so if you're an entity a person based on the centralized power that you have life right you have the right to exist 
right? So if you're a person in a country, flat tax it, right? 10%, let's say, 5%. That means if you, for me or you, we would pay five or 10% tax. That means Microsoft, Twitter, Amazon, corporations, oil companies, all those people, all those corporations would also pay 10% tax, right? One law, every entity that is recognized to have life pays 10% tax. That's a start. I'm gonna scroll down again. Oh, I saw Chicho there somewhere. Pure, by the way, that is fake news. I know MIGs and military capabilities. MIGs were trash and were always trash. Do you know where first MIG came from? Yeah, I know it because it was Migoyan. I, my ancestry is Armenian, so as an Armenian, I've looked into the history of the MIGs. Came from MIGs were stolen technology from British who gave jet engines to Russians and told them not to copy them or use them. Really? Pure? Possibly. But really? You think they were trash because they were stolen technology? Right? That doesn't make them trash. That just makes them someone who took something that they saw working and revamped it, fine-tuned it, and made it better, right? Was it stolen technology? Okay, let's assume it was. Does that make it trash? No, right? And by the way, the Western world was built on stolen everything. <laughs> so you can't just go back decades in history. If you're gonna do that, then what you should do is say, Walt Disney stole everything that it was its foundations are built on, right? Apple Corporation stole tons of technology, intellectual property, property from individuals, right? Have you guys read about the recent deaths of tourists in the Dominican Republic? No, I haven't read that one. Uh, pure corporations already pay taxes because their employees pay no you can't say corporations pay taxes because their employees pay taxes okay that you that's your first sentence you're asking them to pay double tax no in my opinion corp tax is stupid I don't get why it should ever exist why is human tax not stupid pure they were trash because they were stolen tech and anytime you have stolen tech you know that you are going to end up with crap results. What? Look at Huawei. Huawei. If you, the United States government is saying, Huawei. I can't pronounce it. The Chinese cell phone company. A lot of the stuff were stolen technology. But they're two generations ahead of anything that the Western companies are putting out in regards to G5 and cell phones and stuff like this. If that stuff was stolen then how could they be two generations ahead of it? According to your argument, stolen technology is crap because you will steal the engine or the weapons, but not the uh, Cassius. So you will have this great engine and this crap. No, pure. You're, you're only living in the one moment in time. Extrapolate, extrapolate. Learn, if you do mathematics, you extrapolate. Look at the calculus of the situation. Look at the graphs, it'll blow you away your argument just completely falls apart, right? Crumbles. Thanks, Nicholas. We've been up for an hour. Take 10% tax on what though? Exactly. All income, maybe. As someone who works engineering, I feel stand, standards and laws serves a good purpose more often than not. I don't, I don't need to see a test run of that as I'm struggling to picture it working without crooks running wild, having so few hoops to jump through. Uh, Tink, I'm not a tax person, right? But one thing I do know, our current tax systems are in place to make the corporations wealthier, to make those who can afford people who have studied these laws, who have written these laws, right? Because a lot of people who are advising corporations, working for corporations to pay zero taxes, are the people that used to be working in government, pa 
passing these laws, right? We know that system doesn't work. It's rigged. So first order of business, eliminate all that. What comes after that? Well, we can talk about it, but I'm not a tax person. All I know is, uh, as individuals, we get taxed on certain things. And certain other entities do not. Okay. They can write off certain things that we cannot. That being said, by the way, Tink, our tax system is set up in Canada and the United States for everyone to create a corporation or sole proprietorship. You don't have to be incorporated. And you can run that in a way where you're paying zero taxes as long as you're showing growth. And if you set, by the way, don't take this as tax, tax advice, right? You can set that, set that up in a way where you're taking all of your excess funds, if you're passionate about the system, and putting it towards that entity that you've created and writing it off against your salary or your income or your wages or whatever the hell it is, right? So you can balance it out so you do exactly what the corporations do, which is no taxes. Many corporations do, right? People just don't know the, the system that well. People still think for some reason that it's a fair system that we have. It's not. It's designed for people who put a little bit of work in uh, to get ahead. Zigger entirely, standards locked down production, and nobody said they had to make sense. Standards are only good for monopolies who don't want competitors to enter due to the. Pure, I agree with you there, right? But the, not all standards. The standards that we have right now, all, all of them have to be removed and we're going to have to start from scratch, right? The, the corporations have passed, passed a lot of those standards to create monopolies. So pure, we agree on certain things and disagree on certain others. Me and you, anyway. The best person to decide what the standards should be is always the engineer and not a politician. The best person, and it should be engineering science that decides standards not economics and politics right i agree with pure there i'm not gonna i'm just gonna read the general gist of what you have to say pure mushi sama good afternoon to you too chicho just got off work glad i caught your stream glad to have you glad to have you rep popo good morning how are you doing is it still morning oh it's still morning in my part it's 11 a.m. It's 11 a.m. Fun. Whew, I caught up with the chat, but I've missed a whole bunch of chat. I'll try to stay up to date. Tiny. I made this one sweet. Squishy. With maple syrup, not honey this time. Energize a little. very good and the texture is fantastic if the military industrial complex was uh, liberal liberalized and you had a genuine competition and new interesting ideas rather than a single giant contract for 10 years and 10 trillion dollars you'd see super fast changes in US military agreed agreed here but Corporations control the U.S. government. They found a, they've worked hard, man, over the last few decades to do regulatory capture of the U.S. government. Okay, and um, as far as I see it, nothing's being changed to take that power away from those corporations. People are divesting from them. I am. I have for a while now. As much as I can anyway but uh, and I wouldn't work for them right even though um, streaming on Twitch uploading the stuff on YouTube because both Amazon and Google are getting revenue from my work but I'm also creating content on other platforms 
and hopefully those other platforms will rise up and then we can start slowly divesting from these centralized powers right so i don't see that changing and i don't see per personally pure i don't see trump doing anything to change that either okay he's centralizing more power he's giving really what swamps got pretty deep man science no engineering yes economics first people who love science are the kind of people who will do that thing don't know if this is true but nasa was said to be to build an over engineered pen that worked in space while Soviets just used a pencil people who like science would pick the pen that made no sense people who like economics would pick the pencil no I disagree Pierre people who love functionality would pick the pencil right people who don't want to reinvent the wheel every time would pick the pencil engineering the pen is not a bad idea but do you actually believe that NASA took all of that money that went towards building a pen that worked in space to make the pen that worked in space do you actually believe that i don't know what it was let's say billion dollars right that they say that they're using to create a pen that works in space that all of that billion dollars went towards that do you actually think what centralized power tells you where where they're spending the taxes that's where they're spending it and pure look into the origins of nasa right what are the origins of nasa the origins of nasa are a bunch of fascists that the u.s government hired right to run nasa do you think those people would spend that much money engineering a pen or would that money have gone somewhere else right be careful you're talking about decentralization but then you're quoting numbers from centralized power i'm probably guilty of doing that as well right but i try to catch myself every time corporations don't control anything that's fake news academics in the middle class bour bourgeoisies uh like yourself control everything <laughs> i control chicho okay where is the corporation twitch channel nowhere we'd be seeing a lot more of their influence if they had any control a dude they have control for sure and the middle class um i don't think so the middle class most of the middle class is pretty scared and uh running on thin air right they're barely making ends meet academics academics a lot of them were academics the licenses were given them by centralized power right so centralized power set up these institutions to educate people in certain fields that the corporations were funding them for right and then when they graduated they gave them a piece of paper and said hey now you're a professor or you now here's a piece of paper you can go work for this corporation now here's a master's degree you can do, go do field work collect data for a phd person that this phd person is good you can go either work for corporations or we'll let him teach a class in this centralized institution getting his funding from centralized power to create more jockeys like them dude you need to extend do your calculus i disagree with your disagreement whenever i hear science should make things make these decisions i don't think science should only make the decisions right economics should play a factor science should play a factor society should play a factor what the repercussions are to the environment should play a factor non-interventionalism should play a factor it's not one thing that should play a factor if economics trumps everything there's a word for that is called inverted totalitarianism we've done videos on that pure really pure no stop putting uh, big paragraphs in 
if you haven't seen that video look into go chicho inverted totalitarianism okay even better yet look into chicho distro, uh, differential accumulation okay there's a 30 minute video where we do a summary sort of a follow-up to other videos that we put together you need to look into inverted totalitarianism and um, differential accumulation capital is power okay huge 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 or pure pure your points are extremely outlandish and overtly incorrect it's starting to hurt my head agreed arcana side okay pure you're gonna have to look at that stuff i'm gonna start reading some of the comments from other people okay graphite is a conductor what have you been smoking <laughs> Not the right. He's pure. You're smoking the centralized power crap. Stop doing that, man. Grow your own. It's better for you, brother. It's better for you. <laughs> like you, pure. You've stated some things that just don't even hold water, man. Like my students that are in grade eight and nine could this like just run circles around you in terms of your arguments i have assumed in grade 12 that when he was in grade 9 he would have just pop, 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 just ran circles around you you would have been so dizzy you you go oh what's going on what's going on what's going on and then you get a little nausea and go whoop do a little purging and then you would have to sit down and then he would stop and he would look at you probably and go you feeling okay you feeling okay you feel like and they run circles around you again dizzy 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 we need to reimpose zen on this twitch chat everyone um with me um i don't even smoke but i think i need something after all <laughs> we'll consider that uh half an hour of power power destruction um Tahini. The thing with the space race and NASA, though, is that they examine the expenditures afterwards, and every dollar spent R and D on the space race netted at least double in technology developments. I agree with that, uh, Suruwa. So the space pen wasn't a waste because it developed led to. Uh, to lots of other things yeah I agree once if you spend money on tech then what happens is you you get that in return it's like mathematics right there's mathematical theories that were worked on like decades or hundreds of years ago that mathematicians sit there and did their thing right and then decades later or hundreds of years later all of a sudden society we evolved to a level where we can use the mathematics that was proven so long ago right so mathematics is the powerhouse behind this once you can look at some of the mathematical theories from the past and some of most of 99.9999 percent of that stuff above above my head right but a lot of that stuff people are implementing now and have been implementing the last few decades because of technology right so money time energy put towards scientific research development theories are always worth it if you do an average over time if you do the calculus of it I have no idea how your students can run circles around me if I'm successfully running circles around you <laughs> funny the functional waste perhaps but not economics no your point about corporations have no control because they don't have a twist channel how is that even an argument anyone can try to hold you're, you're coming off as extremely arrogant and you aren't even trying to hide it no no i think he's just trolling man just because of the last comment he did pure he was a good troll he, he, this guy was a good troll pure good troll really i appreciate it you weren't 
spamming ASCIIs. <laughs> You're not a two-year-old. You're pure. You're in teens, probably higher teens or early 20s. Okay. You're from uh, a certain part of the world that is very focused on sleepy waves. How are you doing? Welcome to another live stream. Anyway, pure. Uh, I like you. You're a good troll. I like you. No, it wasn't NASA examining their own. It was independent studies. How do you qualify the value of tech? I have a Walzutz that scratches <laughs> my spent a million dollars engineering kit. Well, as soon as you do that, someone else is going to come along and say, hey, listen, I made a brand new one, right? That doesn't have all the flaws that this person's tech has that scratches his private parts, right? That cost two dollars right so on the on the on the absolute lowest level tech bad tech tells people what not to do right so you learn something from putting your money into research and development even if it's a failure right <laughs> Dude. I don't do I look irritated I'm not irritated brother I am showing you a clear difference between the influence of academics like Chicho I'm not an academic dude and supposed to be <laughs> corporation <laughs> dude the first first corporation first first company I formed I was like 14 <laughs> I did a sole proprietorship <laughs> I'm like yeah i'm like one of the furthest things away you can get from an academic just because i have a piece of paper and books behind me just because somebody so has a piece of paper and books behind them doesn't make it an academic dude uh, you gotta you gotta get away from the propaganda aspect of things that's hilarious <laughs> oh god i didn't say that i should have had the safe tech space my eyes are watery <laughs> that's too funny bad tech is a learning experience for all i saw dude the streamer is hot <laughs> pure but you're adding nice humor here man for me anyway i hope the rest of the gang is appreciating this i do appreciate a uh, certain type of dialogue and this is one of them where it's just like troll try troll trying to be pseudo you know it's funny uh musha sama chicho what are your thoughts on the immigration crisis going on in the u.s i live in texas um so we have huge issues yeah i bet you do going on with people illegally crossing over well i agree that the detainment facilities are appalling and should be improved the detainment facilities 100 percent are appalling and the way that people are being treated is appalling i struggle agreeing with those that say we should allow anyone to cross over i disagree with allowing anyone to cross over i also feel as though oops i missed it this chat coming peers doing it <laughs> current where is it um i also feel ah oh, beer uh, hold on a second let me read this comment where to go no oh, i lost it uh as though the current administration most likely the next one won't be able to solve this issue in any meaningful way uh musha sama here's the first thing um I don't think this administration is trying to solve it and the problems that you're seeing with the migration happening right now is not because of this administration or the previous administration it has a lot to do with the previous administration the obama administration they support the coup in honduras and honduras is one of the places that's completely collapsing right or has collapsed and you get a lot of migrants and stuff coming in through there just like reagan did with el salvador and panama and stuff like this and bush bush senior with panama so what we're seeing right now there is uh, musha there is no way you can stop the migration happening into the united states right now okay the reason being is it's blowback from u.s foreign policy okay so if you want to prevent all this mass migration really okay and it's going to overwhelm southern united states 
Okay. And it's going to put serious pressure on the United States as it is on Canada, as it is to the EU. And what I'm saying also applies to the EU and Canada because Canada supported the coup in Honduras, right? Supported, actively took part in Haiti, removing Aristide and throwing him out and supported the coups in Venezuela, right? It's blowback from Western foreign policy. So for the short term, man, there's a flood coming. Get ready. Okay, as there should be, because what Western foreign policy has done in Latin America is, and Africa, and Middle East, and certain parts of Asia, is horrendous. Horrendous. What they have done is appalling. And they have been doing this for a number of decades and this is blowback okay to turn things around u.s western foreign policy has to change regarding africa and latin america really it has to change if it doesn't change this flood that's coming is going to be multiple waves of tsunamis multiple waves of tsunamis everybody knows this so all those people blaming trump for what's happening they got their heads up there yang yang right those are the same people that turned the other cheek when the obama administration said especially hillary clinton supported the honduras honduran coup same with the people in canada supporting the Hon during the Harper administration supporting the honduran coup right blow back man blow back how do you stop it change your foreign policy for the meantime man there's a flood coming prepare yourselves <clears throat> uh pure by the way uh, i have my good laugh i think some people have their good laugh uh, i'm gonna stop reading your comments for now okay I, so think hey chicho what's your thoughts on censorship on the internet i used to think everyone should be free but pure seven is shifting me more towards a few select cases being acceptable i think no i i don't want to censor pure right he could be a troll he's a good troll right but he's bringing up he's writing some things i mean he, he already exhausted his the rhetoric right so there isn't any more he could say right but he's saying what there's groups factions of people that actually believe i don't personally don't think pure believes it right but there are people that actually believe this so what we just did right we had counter arguments counterpoints for what he was saying right or what she was saying okay that means anybody that was even thinking about what pure was commenting to be even have a remote sense of truth to them they would have gone no wait a second what there's counter arguments to this this isn't the one point in time that you can look at or this one graph and say that this is the cause of everything you can connect that up to everything else right so i don't agree with censorship not at all think not at all not at all i do believe in timeouts though so pure i'm going to try to read some of the other people's comments uh i'm pretty sure we've spent a fair bit of time talking about certain certain points right so please be a little respectful don't pound the chat uh, that way i can catch up with some of the other people that are that are commenting some of the other comments because there are really serious issues at play right now okay especially regarding censorship uh but if you do i might time you out a little bit okay not ban you but time you out just for a breather right it's just like saying you're allowed to sit on the table man but i'm just going to talk to this guy for a second could you because he has some concerns as well right so we'll do that okay but you do crack me up 
Uh, where are we? Thank you for the response, Chicho. Uh, it's definitely a stressful situation here in Texas. Yeah, I bet, man. I bet. Oh, Epstein. Okay, hold on. I'm going to go back a little bit. Detention should be abolished. Detention should, center should be abolished. I'm grab you're having fun with this pu pure guy, Chicho. But he's really starting to hurt my head. Okay. Here, what we do. We're going to time him out. Time out. Sorry, Pierre. Time out it is. Pierre 105. If you're sitting on a table, you can't be yelling at everyone. Okay. Because everybody's on the same table. You can't stand around and throw your food around and slap people and stuff. You gotta sort of say, hey, man, chill a little. Let other people talk. That's a sign of maturity. And you wanna be taken seriously, brother, right? Past nation states. It agreed on that front, sleepy ways. We do need to move past nation states, but we're not even close to being there yet as a global community. The politics economics has to change a lot has to change a lot otherwise you don't have a country step one yeah you do need certain laws for certain areas certain communities right personally i think those boundaries should be based on watersheds okay where people live water in that region that is flowing in that region that is existing in that region that should be how boundaries are decided okay and the people living in a watershed should be allowed to decide what happens to the resources in that watershed okay okay jeffrey epstein jeffrey epstein should we talk about that a little bit i'm going to scroll down a little bit absolutely right chicho uh always ask yourself what would you do if you were a sad sob living in a shithole of a country trying to find a better life of course you would migrate of course thank you for the that, 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 that. you probably know better uh, what did we do to support the honduran coup oh man as soon as it happened first of all we give funding we give we gave training uh cube box and as soon as the coup happened right they got rid of the democrat elected government business and funding right from western powers started flooding into the coup the regime that got rid of the democratically elected government right so trained death squads military that was trained by western powers were put into place tons of money was sent their way and businesses started western businesses started going in there and exploiting the resources more and laws were changed so they could do that right basically looting took place and we were responsible for it in the west what we're seeing right now is blowback from that and as soon as that happens certain cartels just like mexico right certain cartels were supported and certain cartels that did not agree to work with the CIA and these death squads, they were eliminated, right? So it is insane, man. If everyone migrated though, then native country would never have any chance of improving. We have to manage our foreign policy. Because of bad foreign policy, the chance is already small, but people leaving make it zero chance western foreign policy has to change in regards to africa and latin america the times of nation states is over globalization killed it the internet killed it i don't know i don't agree with that completely big c okay there's literally buses of people driving illegal immigrants into cities here in texas law enforcement is aware and doesn't do anything people in the border states have seen crime increase yeah Musha and the police are not there to protect the people the police are there to protect the corporations and american corporations are in large part responsible for the mass migration taking place into the united states so the, don't look to the police to protect you okay ice is not going to protect you okay the military is not going to protect you 
those things are in place to protect the corporations okay the corporations were the cause of this and they have the muscle to protect themselves and exploit the resources of this human power coming in to the United States okay there's also people uh, coming to the southern border who are from Africa and the Middle East yeah I bet roses are red virus are blue I'm gonna <laughs> that's an interesting poem uh, you're dropping them off in cities and washing their hands off yeah it's, it's, it's pure the kind of person to storm your air first I'm gonna zoom down police are modern knights da, 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 da. okay I'm gonna come to here it's the same Europe uh, they boat people in NGOs in Europe they boat people in and just let them go I did my part got them here not my problem anymore good evening guys good evening German dude here good evening German dude I hope I can add uh, some thoughts sure where is the reading from uh, add some Lev Horson itself police are modern knights uh, yeah protecting the kings I guess the oligarchs and stuff giving rights to snuff out any human being nothing changed about that nothing changed about that i want to go back and see what pure was saying that offended people all his messages deleted nice censorship did all of his messages i saw something but if you time someone out do all their messages delete time out deletes them yeah they're all gone he might have deleted himself let me see is there a note somewhere chicho timed out pure 105 for 600 seconds oh wait a second near 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 oh by a mod I'm not sure who the mod was some a mod one of our mods deleted it so you you'll be able to read the messages what he said once I load the uh, uh, what do you call it uh, Calden Storm. Once I load the videos on BitChute and YouTube, okay. I'm pretty sure we're gonna do this on YouTube as well, okay. So I'll give it more exposure. Um, apologies about deleting the messages, but uh, I timed them out. He wasn't chilling, okay. Someone else was a little harsher. Someone on the table got pissed off at him and pulled the chair from under him. Uh, I did let him know. I did let him know I asked him nicely a few times right so I don't blame the mod for uh, banning them okay really I don't because I asked him nicely a few times I had a few nice laughs but he was getting angry and other people are sitting around the table were getting a headache right and I'm pretty sure I spent a fair bit of time with them talking to him you know at least 20 minutes reading his comments and so it's all there in the video okay uh Kellner storm so i don't think it was full-on censorship uh, i think it was giving someone a warning and letting them know and it got taken out okay how do people move to another country so easily i don't think they move so easily they have to give up a lot to move well i see the policemen want to want the best for us people howdy howdy perps how are you doing that's why they joined the force in the first place local folks have uh, an organizing local folks have an or organizing all across the US in response to the crisis because there honestly isn't any large resources for migrants being held in the centers for instance this weekend there are raids all over and it's local small orgs doing the uh, doing the ice watches and hotlines Wow things are gonna get crazy man this twist chat is looking Mickey spicy today <laughs> mighty spicy today yes please <laughs> only the executable ones though bro ain't nobody care about pure that much it's fine 
yeah, I, I, I like them. I, I like the trolling aspect of it. It was pseudo intellectual, pseudo. It sort of showed some of the arguments that, on a very superficial level, that I've come across chat boards and stuff. I, as you know, I go to certain forums that there are certain mindsets there that use this type of argument, right? But then, as soon as you point out, you have to look and look at things in the time aspect of things, and look at the causes of why certain things are happening, and connect it up to economics, then their arguments are blown away, especially when they're at the same time talking about race and all this jazz, right? At the same time, say economics is the most important. And then you point out it's the economics that brought this about. <laughs> they go, what? And you can see the short circuits happening, right? right? I've, I've done this in person as well, right? And you can see, some people get angry. Some people get more adamant about their beliefs. However, there is a positive. There are some people that might be listening, that hear your counter arguments, and they go, oh, wait a second, right? Your voice is very calming. Thanks, Matthew. Hot topics. Matthew, Chicho Matthew, makes a good point. I hear his argument all the time. Uh, argument all the time that it is too difficult uh, for poor u.s citizens to relocate from job des uh, deserts doesn't the migrant storm negate this no because in the united states it's not a complete destruction of the society it's not a complete destruction of the city they haven't been bombed cartels haven't taken over right what we're seeing with the migrant movement right now is because the countries are completely gone right Honduras is a dictatorship police force dictatorship where thousands of people are disappearing right being assassinated by hit squads trained by Western powers you don't really see that in the United States the job market is not there in a city they can move from one place to another you they move to one place there's a lot of homelessness in the United States look at California LA the city uh, tent city is rising up right it's very difficult but they can still go back to their homes they don't have death squads killing their family it's a different situation the internal migration in the United States is different than the external migration taking place it wasn't he had fair warning he did he had tons of fair warning Nicholas a lot of these migrants though have and I would I would have been able to uh, willing to engage him again if he allowed a little bit of me catching up with the chat and listening to other people but it was yelling over everyone right that's not cool a lot of these migrants though have even worse living conditions than the poorest US uh, c citizens yeah I just want to see if it was trolling or opposing argument that the group disagreed with uh, a storm it was an opposing argument that the group uh, disagreed with the first point that he made he brought out uh, statistics right and I sort of guessed where he was going with that to a certain degree where and I wasn't sure if it was going to be pro or anti or if it was going to play the race card or if it was going to play the race card this way or the race card that way like a lot of ways to go through it but I sort of felt where the discussion was going so as soon as he brought that on uh, it went straight into the evolution aspect of things and the race aspect of things so he was trying to uh, build an argument based on race being the deciding factor of crime and all that jazz and anybody that even has gone beyond a singular point single point in time beyond looking at just one graph and or one source of the graph and dug down a little bit into different systems done the calculus of it would know that that is a ridiculous argument it is the economics of the situation right that is really running the machine right so and to a certain degree i do believe that he believed what he was saying okay but he was playing it like a troll card right 
So anything they can get as a benefit, even just simply existing in the U.S. as a massive movement. Sure, I agree with you. One of the main reasons that this migration is happening is they don't have to deal with death squads. I know people, I've met people where they migrated here from El Salvador like decades ago in the 1980s where the rest of their family that was still there, they're all dead, <laughs> right? They have some family in the United States, they got some family in Canada. They, well, they are in Canada, they got a little bit of family, but half the family was eliminated by death squads trained by the United States. That's what's going on in Honduras right now and in certain other Latin American countries, okay? So just being allowed to live and go to a store and buy food and work and know that you're not, you know, people are going to knock down your door and take away your kids or shoot you in the head or cut your head off in front of your family. Those are real things that are happening down there. Okay. Speaking of mindset of forums. Uh, speaking of mindset of forums, do you ever check out Reddit much? I do think. Uh, not as much as I used to. No way. I feel you used to get every human conversation on there a few years ago. But now it's moving towards echo chambers of ignorance screaming their extremist left right wing views yeah agreed thing so like for example uh, just to let you know uh, my account on reddit is like 12 years old or something like it's huge right uh, i was on certain forums where they only had like a couple thousand people and now they're into the like eight hundred thousand people right the dialogue there just like the dialogue online in the 90s was open discussion between people without censorship reddit is an echo chamber i go to like maybe three forums one of them is a valiant forum one of them is a comic book forum and another one is a conspiracy forum i go to that's it really and i don't go there often uh, as often as a not even close not even close well he was also telling people to leave chat when he felt he proved them wrong oh really so i didn't catch that the solution to poverty poverty centers might be death squads thought experiment yeah uh, dangerous thought u.s causes instability in the country starts a refugee crisis migrants have a choice of death or try to seek asylum in the u.s or any other western country or anywhere else for that matter that's one solution i suppose in another world speaking of tent cities austin texas recently passed an ordinance allowing for homeless people citizens and migrants to set up tents on city sidewalks just like skid row in los angeles it's very troubling for personal safety and for local businesses i'm hoping such a liberal policy doesn't spread to the other late cities here in texas it's sad because there's also no solution in place for the homeless issue going on yeah the solution is a complete revamp for our current economic system and that didn't happen under it's not you know it didn't happen under obama like it's not a close that was the opportunity to make it happen because of the 2008 collapse right 2008 scam so during the obama administration that was the time to make it happen the scammers were given more power wall street was given more power we know the trump administration the, the yahoo's running right now are not going to make it happen right they're playing tag team with the democrats right Republicans, the same thing right so that's what's going on there was also a physical threat issued about coming and teaching manners oh really nicholas i didn't catch that so whoever the mod was that uh banned pure thank you for that i wasn't catching all the all the text that was coming through right so thank you for that 
A better solution for poverty centers is job training programs so they'll have an income that would place them uh, out of poverty, killing them in extreme, yeah. Perps, uh, training centers for sure, but you also have to provide the same, at least the same, to your own citizens as well, okay? So everybody should be treated equally. Citizens, they, they're from that country. They've got a community there, right? They also need help. I think that's one of the main causes for all of this anger. And all of it comes down to economics, man. All of it comes down to economics. Inverted totalitarianism. Just the storming Area 51 coming passing through. <laughs> Avoid. <laughs> Are you organizing it? <laughs> Homeless people need skill set that place them in interviews and hence jobs. A lot of the like refugees that have come from different parts of the world, like in Vancouver, uh, Canada, I've met a lot of people with PhDs that are driving taxis, right? To be clear, I'm not advocating for death squads. No, of course not. I didn't read it that way either. But unfortunately, we've seen this play out in, in history. Detention centers slowly have a tendency to go towards pure uh, back draining some oh pure come on i'm gonna time you out brother <laughs> time out. see you weren't banned that's cool but yeah you're timed out again brother um oh so check this out so i just did a timeout for pure and it says three messages were deleted by a moderator. So I guess I'm the guy that when I timed out pure, so I guess the Twitch algorithm is written like this. If you time someone out, I didn't know this. If you time someone out, then all their messages disappear, right? So I don't know when the timeout ran, if it came, if they were able to come back, if all those messages reappear in chat or not. I don't know if that's the case, but I'm timing out pure because of what Nicholas said that he threatened someone as well. So, pure, you're timed out of this chat. Okay, just letting you know that. Uh, because right away you came on, you three messages right away. You're just shouting again. Don't do that. Don't do that. Treat others well and with kindness, and be treated in kind i think that's something i wrote somewhere <laughs> oh i wrote that on my youtube <laughs> youtube uh <laughs> take it to this <laughs> youtube uh what do you call it the google boy stuff we posted take it to discord he can make other accounts and join in but he will be easy to find i think yeah he can he can take the time to do that i guess and then if he does the same stuff, you time out again, right? I don't like uh, bullies, right? And when you're you're engaged in a conversation with a bunch of people, either on chat or in person, right? When you're yelling over everyone, not allowing someone else to speak, that's not nice. Honestly, this world does have enough time for racist white people to change their minds. Yeah, honestly, this world oh it doesn't have enough time for racist white people to change their minds. Sleepy waves. This world has time for everyone to change their mind, and this is not just about racist white people. I've known racist brown people, racist Asian people, racist black people, racist this people. I've known racist people. I've come across racist people my whole existence, right? Some of them love me and they're racist against people that I love, right? So uh, racism is not only a white thing. It holds no colors. It holds no bounds. It holds no allegiances. 
racism is racism okay what would be some solution for homelessness if any any uh, setting up mental health centers in every city that has homelessness problems okay legit mental health centers not camps where you incarcerate people have a way to engage people okay really and a lot of the people that are homeless there's a lot of people that are homeless that don't have mental health issues they lead into mental homelessness does lead into mental health issues and mental health issues can lead into homelessness as well and drug abuse and this abuse and that abuse right but a lot of people are homeless because they lost their jobs they couldn't afford the rent they didn't have any savings health issues right taking care of their health care system is one big thing education system is one big thing right so then those are some of the ways that have to be and it's not a it's not a quick solution man it's not it took decades to reach this point right it's taken decades to reach this point you can undo the damage faster but it's not going to happen in a year to five years it's going to take a while shit about to hit the fan yeah sleepy waves these streams always have different opinions so that's not an issue he is just being disruptive timeout was warranted yeah agreed yeah nicholas it's it's like you know you gotta do <laughs> you gotta do racist aliens in area 51 the ground breaks and the aliens start zapping you with ray guns it's like mars attacks and start calling saying we come in peace G -g -g. wouldn't education lower homelessness all the hobo i know drop really soon there are some that yeah education is huge education is a huge part of that for sure motivation vacuum agreed i think a lot of the problems with poverty comes down to despair without uh, reprieve or hope people revert to animalistic psychology survival instincts and greater things are, are outside of survival become abstract yeah that's a good way of putting it putting it the uh, cue box mental health too a portion of the homelessness sadly are generally mentally ill and that's not something that work programs for education can just fix yeah what i mean by that is in white people definitely hold power and all of our fundamental resources for survival for profit and i'm not about to be trying to teach next door or racist ideologies because there's real people needing our help right now a, a great sleepy waves there is uh, sort of centralization of power and that is in certain places in the world agreed on that right and that has been a result of centuries of imperialism of exploitation of looting of resources that's going to take time to undo i 100 percent agree with agree chicho but sadly there is a very popular narrative going around at the minute that somehow only white people can be racist utter nonsense racism can come from anyone 100 percent agree the only people who that i've met that have that white racism they're anyway we're not going to get into it it's just retarded this is that it, when they say that they're being racist <laughs> it's it's crazy envious how are you doing good evening to you in germany good are we afternoon yet we're not afternoon yet we're close good late morning to you from canada moon me uh, moon me andrix hi we are currently asking random streamers to list the all of the first 11 liverpool football corners <laughs> are you ready no cheating reward waiting <laughs> sorry man there are english people here that uh, from the uk they could probably do that i agree with you racism happens across every race the people who say only white people can be racist say 
So because they believe racism is an institution and only white people institutionalize in the past. I disagree with that argument. And the people that believe that keep racists alive because they can't self-reflect on their behavior. Well said, Musha, well said. Nevertheless, what time in Germany? It's 14, 1454 in Quebec. Hey, Quebec, void. You're three hours, four, three hours, four hours ahead of us, three hours ahead of me. Germany is nine hours ahead. So it would be 9 p.m. German time, I believe. Racism is a structural thing, though. It's individualistic as well, but it's programmed, it's, it's propaganda. And it used to be fear based, I guess. It's 8 58 in the evening in Germany. Okay, cool. It's p.m. then, right? Yeah. Thanks for the warm welcome to show. My pleasure. Thank you for popping by. King, how are you doing? How are you doing? So we've been uh, streaming for a couple hours, gang. That's cool. That's cool. Whew. That was exhausting. Whew, whew, whew. Tomorrow we do personal finance. Let me check it out. What did we call it? Tomorrow we called it tomorrow's stream. Tomorrow's stream we do an open no tomorrow's stream we're doing investing in personal finance. Open discussion on investing in personal finance. It starts at 1 p.m. PTT, my time, Pacific time. Okay. So if you feel like coming in, popping by, that's a good time if you want to talk about pol not politics and uh, politics economics but more investing and personal finance right which is economics and politics related as well but let's focus on what the changes are taking place um, okay loaded up my vape again this next puff is for you to show all right get aside nice nice thank you for the thank you for the salute Racism is just the ultimate uh, extrapolation of tribalism. Whether that can be eliminated from the human condition, uh, sure, but tribes can also get along and do trades with each other, right? There are certain people that continue to work together while they don't work with other people. What makes them work together and what makes them hate the other people? right what makes you love someone what makes you hate the other if you can figure that out distinguish that and really analyze it then we can realize that you can belong to a tribe you can feel at home with people certain people and stuff like this but you have no right to hate others because they do not belong in your tribe they do not belong to your family because if you look at us as Carl Sagan would say we're on a just a little blue dot floating through space spiraling around the star that it itself is floating through space doing a loop the loop around the galaxy that in turn is flying through space we're just a pale blue dot right hopefully i can make that okay sweet i don't want to want the straight to end <laughs> we're gonna do three in a row the uh, uh, next three days right so two more coming no doubt people's can work together but at the same time people can work together and still hate each other secretly or even openly yeah sure but you should not try to eliminate right if you want to hate that's your issue right it's not their issue if they're being who they are you hate who they are as long as they're not hurting you then that's your issue you can bottle up all the hate you want don't lash out and try to eliminate certain people the pale blue dot picture is one of the most amazing pictures I've ever seen, Chicho. Nice reference. Yeah, nervous. I love it as well. Cosmos. Carl Sagan's Cosmos. A must watch if you've never watched it. And then loop it. Right? That's the way I did it. You're arguing that racism is genetic. No, I don't I don't, I don't take it that way box I take it as programming is indoctrination because once you belong in a tribe you're being educated fed conversation everything's within that tribe right that is what you know 
So I don't consider that genetic. I call that cultural. And as Terence McKenna would say, culture is the enemy. Right? Thanks for the stream, Chicho. Have a great rest of your day, night chat. You too, uh, Nicholas. Hope you have a fantastic evening. Okay. Okay, gang. We're going to end the stream. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the heartfelt discussions and the, and the topics. And Pure, if you're still here, uh, thanks for bringing up certain topics. Uh, I hope we can manage next time within our community without overwhelming everyone and not yelling over people. I'm not sure I think uh, racism isn't some made up institutional social structure, blah, blah, blah. Thanks, Chicho. See you next time. See you next time, gang. Hope you have a fantastic, it is Saturday, isn't it? Fantastic July 13th. See you tomorrow.